Do you have a page on your Squarespace website that you don't want showing up in Google search results? In this tutorial, that's what I'm going to walk you through. How to hide a Squarespace page from showing up in Google. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com where I help you figure out the DIY solutions for website tech and SEO. So today I'm going to hop into a screen share and show you exactly how to hide a Squarespace page from showing up in Google search results. All right, let's get started. So when you are logged in to your Squarespace website, you're going to go over to the left, click pages, and then you're going to scroll to whichever page you don't want showing up in search results. For this one, just for like an example, I'm just going to do the privacy policy. So this page really isn't that important to be shown in Google search results. I would rather people find me through my homepage, my about page, not so much the privacy policy page. So let's go ahead and adjust these settings. So click on that gear icon. And then you're going to see the page settings. So we're going to go down to SEO. And if we scroll down, we're just going to see this little tick mark right here, hide page from search results. So then you're just going to click save and bam. And Squarespace makes it super easy to give you a little bit more control over which pages are being shown in search results. Um, typically, the pages that I would block from showing up in search results are like, um, like cart pages or account pages. If you have a membership, maybe you have paid products and the content is hosted on your website somewhere, you might want to block those pages from showing up in search results. I also block like a newsletter success page or a thank you page. Um, so yeah, those are just a few ideas of pages that you can block from search engines. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you'd like more help DIYing your SEO, I have an online course that runs you through all of the important things so that you can get your website on Google's good side. So you can see the details over at mariahmagazine.com slash easy SEO, but I'll also post a link in the video description below so that you can easily click on it. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and take a second to comment below and let me know how it went or if you have any questions. So if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on all of the DIY website tech and SEO tutorials I have coming your way.